Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Cindy. Today I will be doing my March wrap up. March was an awesome month for me in terms of reading. I read some amazing books that simply blew my mind away. And one of the books that I highly anticipated to read this year came out this month. So that was another thing that made this month simply awesome for me. So let me tell you about the books that I, I read this month then. Confess by Colleen Hoover. I have a confession to make. I am simply addicted to reading Colleen Hoover books. There is something about her books that simply makes you to not want to stop reading at all. It just pulls you into the story and the characters and everything. The, can we talk about the cover? It's so unique and so cool. It's like splatter paint that really does it really well for the theme of this book, which is about an OMG. Pun and all intended. If you read the book, you know why I say OMG. Oh my goodness. What is his name again? I forgot him. Owens. See, I have a read too many books to me, guys. Too many guys in my head. I forgot the name. So, Owen's character is, when I first like read about his character, I thought he was a shady guy who had a drug addiction. It turns out I was wrong. He's a really, really, really nice guy who's a really good artist who falls in love with Auburn, who's, when I first read about her, I read, I thought, hmm, she's hiding something. And thank goodness the author decided to spill out what the secret was a couple chapters later because I assumed something was off because come on it's calling who a book there has to be a catch to something right storyline is a little bit predictable actually a little bit but I really enjoy reading it I gave this book a 4.5 or a 5 out of stars it was between those ratings the Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adil. I finally decided to pick up this book, guys. I have heard so much people rave about it on booktubes, goodreads, you name it. And I finally get why people are so loving this book so much. It's just so magical, yes. That's right, it took me on a magic carpet ride that I did not want to get off. The whole time I was reading this book, I was singing the song, A Whole New World. Yeah, I'm not gonna sing the rest because I'm probably sure you guys know the rest of the lyrics. Like the author is able to tell this story in a very magical way that I felt as though I'm reading a fairy tale. I just simply love the OTP in this book, which is Khalid and Shazar. Is that how you were name? I mean, yeah, I pronounced it right. It's Cha Shazar, yeah, I think it's right. They have this really unique chemistry. It's not really instant love when they first meet, and I like that. There is a kind of love triangle, but I don't mind it at all because it because Shazar kind of chose who she wants to be with, like halfway through the book already, and the other guy is just like history or is trying too hard. I am so looking forward to reading The Rose and the Dagger, which is supposed to come out in April, last book in this duology, yay! What else I gonna say about this book? Oh, my ratings for this book is a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I absolutely love it. I placed it on my favorite shelf. And then I found out that Renee Hadid wrote some novellas for the Wrath and the Dawn universe. So I decided to read those just to, you know, contain my whole like high from reading this book. So I picked up uh, the, what's it called? The Crown and the Arrow. Finally get into like Khalid's brain on his first thought when he met her. It was 
the only part that I didn't like about that is it was really short. It was like 11 pages long. I could be wrong, but it was really short. I wanted more. So that's why I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. It was good. It was just too short for my like. And then I picked up The Moth and the Flame. Another novella. Gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. It was cute. It was nice. Like a nice little love story about these two. But it was just a little short and it was lacking a little bit on the like whole like love. But I really like that I finally get to be in, in Despina's mind. Her character really drew me in in The Wrath and the Dawn. I was like trying to figure out what is this girl after. I'm pretty sure you guys will know what book I'm going to talk about next because I was very very hyped about it for the last couple of videos. <laughs> the winners kiss by Renee Redkowski, the third and final book in the Winner's Trilogy. Oh my god guys, this was simply amazing to read. It is a beautiful conclusion to an epic trilogy. My ship sailed, I am very happy. It was an awesome last book. There is like that whole like wow factor in this book. That's why I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars and I placed it on my favorites list. By the way, I will be posting a review for this book soon or I, re or I already did. Go check out my feed for that. Because hey, I love this book so much, why not do you about it? So go check that out. I will link that up here or below for you to go watch it. With that being said, so mm -hmm. those are the books I read in March. What books did you read in March? Let me know below. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon guys in an upcoming video.